All right, this video is on how to add an Alex link to your Canvas course. How to add an Alex link to your Canvas course. Um, it's a requirement for all online instructors with that are using Alex. So you have to add the link. However, if you're an on-campus in-classroom uh, instructor using Alex, you can still uh, have the students register for Alex the old way where you give them the, the key or Bob and his crew come in and give them the key and they register and type in the key and then they're in it um, and through the Alex site. But I really do recommend this. It, I think it's a lot easier. The students click on the app and they go straight to, to the required link, um, straight to Alex from Canvas. Okay, so what we're going to do first is scroll down, and by the way, I know it says Math 1314, but uh, this is a Math 320, um, this is a Math 320 uh, Alex base course. So go to Settings, give it a second to load, yours is going to load faster, mine's loading slow because of the uh, recording. Okay, once you're in settings, scroll, it says course detail here, scroll over to the right where it says apps and click on apps. All the apps are going to pop up. Okay, all the apps pop up. Scroll down until you see Alex and there's Alex in the blue. Click on Alex and then add the app. So what we just did was, well, we haven't finished yet. Uh, we're adding the Alex app into Canvas. I need a consumer key and a shared secret. Well, these are not so sh secret <laughs> because I'm gonna share it with everybody. Um, a, with this video is attached a PDF that has it in there, the shared secret and the consumer key. In this PDF, go to step four and the consumer key is right here. I'm going to copy and paste it into the Alex app area. Just give it a second. Paste. All right. Now I'm going to go back and get the shared secret. Shared secret is very long. Copy it. Oop, I copy too much. Copy. Go into here and hit paste. All right, and then add the app. At the top, it's going to say the app was added successfully. Then it's going to go away. All right, so we've added the app. Now I just have to add the link. So I'm going to go to Modules, and you can put it in any module. I recommend putting it in all the modules if you have weekly modules. If you don't, just like we did in, in MyLab Plus, you can add your own module. Okay, we're in Modules. I'm going to scroll all the way down, and I'm going to put it down here in Week 16. In reality, I'm going to put it in every week, but I just want to show you how to do this. We're going to hit plus for week 16 modules. We're going to go in the uh, this added uh, uh, drop-down box. We're going to go to the bottom where it says external tool. And then you'll see Alex as the, at the top. Should be at the top. Click on Alex and add the item. Far right, lower right-hand corner, add the item. And we have the link. I'm going to go ahead and publish the link. The link's nice and green and pretty. Now, we're not done yet. We still have some settings to do here. So let's click on the Alex link. Okay, from here... It gives us these choices to pair the class. We're going to do the second choice. 
an existing Alex class. The class that we're going to pair is with the existing class that was created for us in Alex. So if you go to your Alex account through the Alex website, you should see that class there. Uh, my math, my class is Math 320, Section 71. So I want to pair this with an existing Alex class. Don't click on all the other ones. With an existing Alex class. If you click on my classes, you'll see Mary Cottier in there. Just leave my classes in there. That means my classes means your classes. <coughs> so if you click on the, cl the class uh, drop down here, it should list pretty much all of your Alex classes from the past. So I'm looking for 320 fall uh, section 71. So that's the one I'm going to do, section 71. I'm going to click on it and hit continue. <coughs> okay, I had a little problem, but we're back. So at, at this point, it's now paired. The class is officially paired. Hit continue. And you're in the class. That's pretty much it. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go back to modules and show you now, every time you log in, click on Alex, it will take you straight to the Alex class. All right. All right. What I'm about to show you next is what the students will see. Okay. Right now I'm in student view and I'm going to go down there and click on my Alex link. So let's see what the students are going to see when I, when they click on the link. So they're going to click on Alex and it's going to say, Hey, have you ever used Alex before? Yes. I want to use my existing account or no, I am new to Alex. Now, if they say, yes, I want to use my existing Alex account, it could have been last semester. It could have been two semesters ago. They may not know the username or password. I recommend telling them no. <laughs> Click on no. I am new to Alex. This is going to put them straight in, and then they won't have to worry about a username or password that they forgot about. So tell them all to click on no. I am new to Alex. Hit continue. Their name will pop up. For me, it's test student, right? Each class has a test student in there. I'm the test student. Type in an email name. The students will type in their email. Tell them to use their school email. They're going to have to select, I have read the agreement, and then continue. So they have to put their email in, tell them to use their school. They're going to have to click on, I have read the agreement, hit continue. Student registration complete. If they hit continue again. There, go right into Alex, and you see what happens when you first get into Alex. You have to take your initial assessment. Well, first you have to take the uh, – click all these buttons. First you have to take the tutorial on how to type it in. Then you're going to have to take your initial assessment, so you'll have to talk to them about that. Um, let's get out of here and go back in to my modules and show you once again that if you go to modules – and I'm in still as a student. If I scroll down to any of the Alex links, as a student now that I've registered as you know test student, it's going to take me straight into Alex. And here I am. It says welcome back test. You can then they're going to click on their class. 
and they'll be right into the class. All right. Any questions? Uh, my name is Bill Troutman. Give me a call or any of the faculty, and uh, you guys have a great course.